five FM. It's thirteen minutes after the eight o'clock hour on this beautiful, wonderful Wednesday morning. Yours truly, the original doctor of gospel music, and I am eternally grateful and just thankful to the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power is falling up in his house to have in the studio with me this morning, Pastor Monte Maddox himself. Good morning, young fella. Good morning. How you doing? Doing good. Come on up to that mic. You ain't, ain't gonna bite you. <laughs> good to have you with us, man. What's up? What's up? I'm glad to be here. Everything is good. I'm just glad to be be alive and on top of the ground, and the ground's not on top of me. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> Not this time of the year, anyway. No time of the year, to tell you the truth, man. Yes. Man, we appreciate you coming by this morning, number one, and uh, we certainly appreciate having uh, you be a part of our revival this year uh, again. This is your second year doing the revival. Yes, sir. And I'm delighted, pa Pastor Stewart, to be a part of part of doing the revival another year. It's a, it was a blessing last year, and it's already started off. Oh, That's man. That's a blessing for me oh, this year. Oh, my God. It, that, it, I mean, you came in high gear. I'm like, where are you going tomorrow, yeah. Lord? <laughs> But that's what you call a sin for him, God. Huh? Yes, sir. We we are we're looking for a great time, and we're looking for somebody that's looking for a move of God. And this revival of this year is 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 special because there are so many people that are broken. Yes, sir. There are so many people that are burdened. There are so many people that are going through. They look good publicly, publicly, on but they look they're struggling in private. And we want to not just deal this year with the outer man, but we want to deal with the inside because oh, we want to make sure that we don't just look good, but we're powerful people that God has called us to be. That's that's amazing too because there's so many people hurting, man. I mean, um, the number of phone calls that we're getting away from the, the requests, you know, and the liking of the song, the people that are just going through morning prayer. And, you know, I do prayer every morning around seven, uh, around 630. And uh, man, people call and say that prayer was just for me, and I, mean, I was being blessed. So it's a lot of people just hurting. You really don't of, know. A lot of hurt people, and and we as pastors, we got to get to that place where we got to deal with the problems that people having. We we've been preaching that God has been good a long time. A long people time. people know that God is good. We've been preaching that He died, He was buried, and He rose a long time. But now we want to deal with that. No matter where you are, right? No matter how bad the situation. Look, no matter what the situation is, God specializes in picking you up yes, from where you are. Yes, sir. Uh, we got to be playing our Let Your Power Fall. I know we're going to talk a little bit about the music thing. How's, how's that going? I mean, the music music thing is going going real well. We're doing a, uh, doing a lot of shows, and you know. But this year, I have really kind of taken a, a step back on the music side. I really love singing, of course. But but I, 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 there's a greater calling on my life for the word, okay. and God has been allowing me to move in a lot of new directions and I still love the music, still sure. love singing. Sure. But there is something that we need to understand is that if we put the word in the people, the music will resonate. Ain't no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. The people gotta have that word. Yeah. And this is the hour for that pastor. And I and I, I you know I really I want you to know that I can have a, uh, now a senior pastor, bless the Lord. I can appreciate hearing um, that kind of uh, response from from a man of God, um, because so many preachers, and I, I, it's not a put down. I, I think that sometimes in, your, in our immaturity, we don't understand where we are and who we are. At the time, we look at the popularity and the, you know and all of that stuff. So, and see, Bishop, that's what God has moved me from in this 2019 era. He's moved me from. I've had my season of popularity. Sure. I've had my season of being able to travel the country and mm -hmm. being able to sing here and sing there. Mm -hmm. But th this year, I'm just I'm not trying to be popular. Right. I'm trying to be powerful. Right. We need some people that when you're connected to people, and you can be connected to church sure. and not be connected to power. Right. And and, and I remember I, I told I told my church just a few weeks ago, I, I had a phone charger and mm -hmm. I plugged it up. And when I plugged it up, it wouldn't charge my phone. And mm -hmm. I stopped and I got another charger. And I plugged it, it, put the cord into that same plug, and it wouldn't charge my phone. And I had to come to terms mm -hmm. that it was not the cord, but it was my connection. Oh, wow. and, and what I'm, what I have to realize in this season, sometimes it's not where we are, it's what we're connected to. Right, and right. sometimes when we're connected to power, we can power up somebody that's else. It, that's and it. that's where I am. I don't want to just be popular, I hear you, but 
I want to be powerful. But I want you to be powerful. <laughs> <laughs> All three nights. So we want to invite everybody in Central Alabama, if you can and if you will, um, if you're nearby tonight and tomorrow night, to come on by and be a part. This is an awesome meeting. Um, and again, I'm just thankful to God that God has um, selected you because it's not an accident. You know that. Amen. It's not an accident. And I want to say to the people, no matter where you are, mm -hmm. if you're in the city, outside of the city limits, if you're listening to this radio broadcast, restoration is the place to be yes, this sir. week. Restoration. And we're going to do exactly what, it's, what, what it says. Restore. We're going to restore some people yes. from where they are to where God's want to take you. I promise you, you don't want to miss this revival. It's going to be not revival as usual, but that's going to be a great move of God. It's already happened on last night, yes, and we can't go nowhere but up. I mean, just to see the way the, the flow, uh, even in the giving, man, that was something. That was, you, you're bad, man. I'm just, that's all I got to say. God is really, really using this uh, warrior in the ministry, and you don't want to miss it, man. This is the time to be a part of it. You know, I'm talking to people who are sick, I know, that are going through. You're sitting there, you need a move of God in your life. You've been sitting, going, and nothing has happened. You probably just need to come out and be a part of the fellowship tonight. We're isn't? looking forward to it, Bishop, and we're looking forward to a high time. And I just want to say sure. to you, a lot of people don't, uh, you may not ever get this, or mm -hmm. people may not tell you this, but I appreciate it what you do because because of you a lot of our music is being played because of you you've given I have noticed this year and last year you've given a lot of preachers opportunities mm -hmm. that would not be given and I just want to publicly say on the, on this radio broadcast this morning I appreciate you for the opportunity that you op have opened up because by you playing my music and allowing me to come there to preach mm -hmm. it has opened doors for me in other areas and I want you to know that I appreciate the opportunity opportunity and you, what you have done for me I, that no money can pay that but I just want well, to tell you it, thank you sir I just try to be a blessing thank you sir and uh, I know you got to get to work and I'm not gonna keep you long uh, Miss Phillips a fine I know and I don't want Miss Ann to come up here and give me no hard time so we <laughs> <laughs> so we really appreciate you man and again we're praying for you and uh, we thank you and we're looking forward to seeing you tonight is there anything that you may want to just a last word type I, of thing? I, I just want to say to the people I want to tell I want to tell the people this morning I don't care where you are who you are I want to tell you three things number one no matter what it looked like God still has the power to change your situation. Okay. No matter how bad it seems, no matter how bad it gets. Number two, just because where you've been ain't where you want to go, you still got to trust God to get you to where you're trying to go. Sometimes you look at your current situation, but the third thing I want to tell you, never trust what you see. But you got to learn how to stand on what God said. Yes, if he said he was going to deliver, he said he was going to heal, if he said he was going to bring you out, I trust him enough. Even when I can't trace him, I still trust him. <laughs> I want to tell somebody this morning that's listening mm -hmm. to us, don't stand on what you can see with your physical eyes. Because faith is not physical, it's spiritual. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to step out on faith. What I'm saying, don't trust you what you can see. But stand on what God said. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you, man of God. And we really, really appreciate you coming by and be a part of, uh, of the broadcast this morning. And we'll see you tonight.